Hey guys, Moogler here, and today I just want to talk about Power Stone because the Power Stone series has been on my mind for quite some time, especially for the past couple of days. I've just really been thinking about it, especially within my social circle. A lot of us have been just recalling some of these nostalgic moments that we had with the game. And I will say, man, as far as, as the Sega Dreamcast era, man, that was the best time to be a gamer. The Sega Dreamcast, still to this day, is one of my favorite consoles of all time, and it produced some of the most memorable uh, gaming experiences of that era and Power Stone was one of those IPs that I really hold dear to my heart um, when it comes to a Capcom IP. Now as far as Power Stone is concerned, Power Stone was that mix of you had that competitive play you know in an open space and it was something that I you know that some genres or some uh, developers have tried and experiment with but Catcom, when they tried to create this arena type fighter, Catcom add their charm to it from the art design, the characters, and just the, the concept behind of you just interacting with the stage where the stage itself is an actual character and you can interact with the stage and use the stage as a weapon or a way to be able to uh, capitalize and add on to your combos when fighting your opponent especially with power stone one which is the more competitive um version of power stone now don't get me wrong i enjoy power stone 2 power stone 2 is my jam definitely enjoyed it with my brothers because they had that multiplayer um party feel to it with uh, with four player aspects and stage transitions which was which was also awesome now the reason why i'm talking about this and i'm mentioning this in this video and the purpose of this video is the fact is that i believe it's a perfect time for capcom to actually reintroduce the power stone series um to a whole generation a new generation of gamers who are now being adopted and being bought into the capcom family and i think it's the perfect time to do that and i think the best way for them to do that is by re-releasing uh the power of power stone collection similar to how they had the power stone collection on the psp now i know some of you guys are saying like moving or why would you want catcom to re-release power stone when they can just make a, a brand new entry of power stone now that's a good question and the reason why i say it's better for them to do a re-release of the collection rather than putting out a brand new Power Stone is because if you guys haven't realized it by now, when it comes to Catcom and their IPs, and if you look at the showcase that we've seen with the Catcom showcase two days ago, um, they already shown off the IPs that they really want to focus on. And I call them the three pillars of Catcom, which I mentioned before. And those three pillars are Monster Hunter, Resident Evil, and Street Fighter. And, be and from their financial reports they have shown that monster hunter and street fighter and resident evil are their most lucrative and most successful ips so they already been saying and already been showing us that they will be focusing only on those three which means a lot of these uh older ips or these ips that have been pretty much buried for some time will still remain to be buried because those three pillars are the main focus now, as far as a re-release is concerned, it would be much more lucrative, cost-effective to reintroduce a whole new generation of gamers simply by re-releasing the Power Stone collection. But don't just release just the PSP version. They can simply just take the collection of Power Stone uh, 1 and 2 and just add some new touches, add some new flares to it, which is definitely cost effective. A person, perfect example is what Sega has done with uh, Virtual Fighter uh, 5, um, the final showdown, I believe that's what it's called. All they did was re took the assets, re rebuild it, touched it up, and you know did some you know updating to it as far as the resolution is concerned. And they, they worked with a smaller budget. And now when it comes to Virtual Fighter, it was successful with Virtual Fighter 5 just by reintroducing it to a whole new era and a whole new generation of gamers. And now Sega is talking about now they're going to be working on a Virtual Fighter 6. And I think this will be a perfect approach for uh, Capcom with Power Stone. Reintroduce Power Stone in that sense. You go through Power Stone 1 and 2. Go in, uh, update the character models, update the stages, and also do some uh, uh, brand new uh, gameplay tweaks to it. And most importantly, online gameplay. 
add rollback netcode to it. And now we already know that Capcom is somewhat experiment experimenting with this with the with the Capcom Fighting Collection, which will be releasing pretty soon. And if that's anything to go off of, I think this would be a perfect time for them to do to also do that with Capcom. I think this uh, would be a perfect time for them to actually gauge whether or not if it's worth creating a brand new power stone because if they reintroduce it that way add some new bells and whistles to it to meet modern gaming standards add some rollback netcode to it and re-release it to a brand new audience of gamers who are just now being uh abducted into the capcom uh, family i think it will really work and they'll be able to see and be able to tell whether or not hey i think it's time for us to do a power stone three i think it would be very smart and very cost effective i think it's the best way to do it and i think that catcom should definitely take that approach with a lot of their fighting game ips or even a lot of their older ips they should just re-release collections or bring them down to smaller budgets but focus more on how they'll be able to present it as far as the art style is concerned and the direction they would love to go and i think it would definitely work to be able to see if there is a market for that particular game and i think power stone will be definitely it you know what i'm saying like we already have these arena fighters or these platform fighters such as super smash brothers nickelodeon all-star brawl brawl holla uh we also have the wb multiverses and the thing to have capcom uh have power stone and have their own arena fighter and this was a special type of arena fighter to me because most arena fighters doesn't really catch on but power stone it was a much different case for me because capcom always add their capcom flair their capcom blessing their capcom touch um to their game especially back during that era it's, it was something about the charm that power stone had bought you know two gamers especially more brought those fond memories to, to me as far as their uh, uh level design as far as the character designs it's just something that really stood out and i was able to really really fall in love with the power stone franchise and hopefully you guys feel the same way i felt about power stone and i noticed that there's a lot of people who would love to see that franchise you know come to be now the producer who developed and designed power stone he does have interest in doing a power stone 3 now he did mention that if he was to make a power stone 3 he would definitely release it on the nintendo switch because that's the perfect platform to release such a game like that and i can definitely see that but i would prefer to have it on all consoles if anything and definitely would cross play into it but if anything is to happen with power stone i think capcom if capcom if you hear this if you hear this I think it would be perfect if you guys definitely re-release Power Stone Collection. Just like how you're doing with the with the Capcom Fighting Collection. Just add new bells and whistles to it. Up, upgrade it just a bit as far as the visuals are concerned and everything. The resolution. And add some online play with some rollback netcode. I think you will definitely have a seller right there. And I think it would be a perfect chance for you to do that. And, and pretty much secure an opportunity to... Uh, release a power stone 3 in the near future but that's pretty much it for this video um i i hope that you guys feel the same way about power stone the same way i feel about it because power stone was just something that i really cherish and it's just a bummer that we don't have an opportunity to play it on modern hardware and, and you know with with modern uh bells and whistles as far as online standards are concerned and um, resolution is concerned and controls are concerned you know what i'm saying so i definitely want to hear your thoughts do you do you think it's a good idea for them to release or re-release a power stone collection and do you think that if there's an, it could be a possibility a possibility that they could release a power stone 3 and just say hell with it a collection what do you think and what was your favorite character in power stone and tell me why you enjoy power stone what was it about power stone that you enjoy and if you haven't played power stone you're definitely missing out and would you play a power a power stone re-release of the collection you know if catcom decides to do that definitely let me know in the comment sections below if you like the video hit that like button definitely hit that subscribe button because it definitely helped me in the algorithm and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified this is moving lord signing off i'll see you game fiends later peace out